Hello family boxing, it's Marcelino Castillo from to Boxing Channel TV. Just a friendly reminder to check the interview with Rob Brand here from Las Vegas, Nevada. Just moment Rob Brand beat the idol, Japanese idol Ryota Murata for the WBA Middleweight title. So now Rob Brand is the new WBA Middleweight champion. Check the interview in Boxing Channel TV. You know, both smart and hard. So, I mean, I honestly had no idea that I was uh, kept that pace up, that that was the pace that we were, we were fighting at, but uh, I'm very happy, obviously, that that's, that's where we were at with it, so. How did you see the fight going into the decision? Did you feel it was close, or did you feel that you were the guy that was a, winning the fight clearly? I'm a firm believer in you have to beat the champion, you know, and when you're in there, of course, you can always have a outlook, like I'm winning the fight, I'm winning the fight, but you don't really, you know, I don't have that, that outside eye. I'm not, I'm not a judge. You know, I'm just in there throwing the punches. Obviously, I know that he laid some good shots himself. You know, he, he had a really good job of keeping his left hand out and hiding his, his right hand. It was a very strong shot. Um, I felt like I, I had won, but it's not until you hear those words and the new will you actually, you know, allow that to settle in and also you realize that you're now a champion. Now, when you heard of the wide scorecards, what did you make of it? Because I was thinking that there's no way that I, that I lost. You know, but again, you got to beat the champion. Right. Doesn't matter where we're at, that he's from Japan and he's in the U.S. Doesn't matter where you're from, you have to beat the champion. So, of course, there's always going to be that shadow of a doubt saying, you know, did they give it to him? But I'm always going to feel like I won this fight. But until they say in the noon, you know, scorecards sounded good and it gave me more confidence. They weren't that close. That I felt like I was, you know, I was going to be the one who came up on top. But uh, until they actually said in the new, and it's like a, a million pounds falls off your shoulders, and you're like, you know, you did it. You know, something that no one will ever be able to take away from you, you know, for, I'll be able to tell my grandkids, my great grandkids. And, and I say that, but not like I'm content. Like, this is where it stops. You know, obviously the, the journey keeps going. Um, but this is something that, you know, I'll be able to, i put my name in the history books. Bran, how important, what is important when you lost with Branner to be today, Murata? I, I learned a lot. I mean, that had a lot to do with the punch output in itself because I know that every round you have to do everything possible in order to win. Because if you take time off, you just try to protect your. Try not to get hit. Just protect your undefeated record. You will lose a fight. You know, not doing everything you should be doing. So, I decided that when I decided to fight Murata, who is the best competition in my eyes I've ever fought, he's won the gold medalist and a world champion. That I was going to let my hands go. I was going to punch. I was going to win. So and that's what I decided to do. The middle. A lot of clean shots. At any point, did you feel like, okay, this is it? I have him. No, he never really. I mean, there was at one point where I thought that he was really hurt, but he didn't take a shot. Um, even the times where he would wobble a little bit or seem like he had completely faded, he would hop right back on the horse and also his hands would get high. He'd smile at me a little bit. And then I knew we were, we were fighting again. So, I mean, at no point did I feel like, oh, he's gone. He's ready to go. I mean, there was times where I thought that it might be it. And then that giant smirk would hit. And I'm like, shit, here we go. You know? yeah, both your promoter and his promoter said there, there might be a chance of a rematch in Tokyo. Now, how would you feel about um, having a rematch I mean, with him? I think them? that's a harder fight even the second time around, especially considering it's going to be in his home country. But, I mean, I respect the champion. You know, he's, he's a great champion, and it's something that will definitely get worked out. I mean, I just want to fight the best at this point, and I do feel that Murata is, is amongst the best. So I think that's for certainly, you know, it's on the table. But right now I'm just enjoying the basking and the fact that but I could you But um, could you improve, though, now that you've gone 12 rounds with him? Yeah, I think that I can definitely improve. But, I mean, I'm not naive to think that he wouldn't improve as well. Mm -hmm. So I think that we would be able to improve at a faster rate than he would, than, than he would. I mean, typically with rematches like that, you know, you, you know, the guy will win more, more so on the second time around. But that would make a, a long trip to Japan. Because I mean, I do know that he did not take a long time when he came here. I think he's been here for less than a week or maybe a week or so, which I felt was kind of ill-advised. You know, when you take something seriously, you take it opponent seriously. You take the proper amount of time to acclimate to to the time zone and the altitude. I don't feel like he did that properly, you know. So I think that going to his area is going to be that much tougher. But if I'm there for a month as well, we're going to have the same result in my eyes. One with one shot. I don't recall which round it was. He kept his left hand out, and I didn't even not even see the right hand. Mm -hmm. His glove just got a little smaller than a flash, and then uh, hurt. I mean, it wasn't necessarily hurt; it was more of a flash. He's very strong, you know. He's very snappy, you know, at the end of the punch. But I wouldn't say I was in too much trouble. It was just a shot I, I certainly noticed. Now, obviously, sparring and fights are totally different. Yeah. But you've been in, you've scored uh, plenty of rounds with some of the hardest hitting punchers in boxing with Errol Spence. Mm -hmm. how, do, how can you compare that power just to kind of give people I an have, idea? I have 
nothing against Murata. Murata is a good, strong puncher, but I've never been in that punching kind of stuff. Spent is, is barely in any which is it's a different level. Uh, all due respect to, you know, to Murata, he does punch very hard and all that, but I mean, I had the back of my hand where it was by blocking a shot from Spence and 16 ounce gloves. You know, so it's just a little different in that aspect. But I mean, not taking away anything wrong. Murata can knock you out one shot. You know, I mean, it, you know, Spence is a little overkill. If you have enough power to knock him out, you have power to knock him out. Murata has that. Now, you're the regular champion, obviously. The super champion is Al Alvarez. How do you fit in that picture, you feel? I mean, I feel like that's, you know, I put myself amongst the best in the world with uh, when, you, when you win a title like this. So it's definitely, like I said, I, I, I don't uh, I don't ever look past anybody. So now it's my time to kind of sit down and look at what my options are going to be from this point forward because I think it would have been a discredit to look past Murata and say, once I beat Murata, I'm going to fight this person. That's how you get beat or that's how you get knocked out. You know, he's a very serious champion. I took him very seriously, and that's why we came away with the victory. So now that we've already taken that, taken that victory, it's time to look at what else is out there because I, I fully understand it doesn't get easier from this point. This is the this is the launching point for being, you know, the best competition in the world. You know, your name gets thrown in the hat with some of the best in, in the world at this point now. So it's it levels up. It doesn't level down. Now speaking of you know putting yourself at amongst the best and best competition, by far I think this is you can't argue it's uh, one of the fight of the year candidates, uh, if not fight of the year so far. Now with people like the Zone and obviously the ESPN that you fought on tonight, where at, where can you see yourself like you know because now now the phone's gonna start ringing and this is gonna start ringing tonight. Uh, how do you how do you see that play out? Because obviously Canelo's Canelo's with the zone. Yeah. Uh, we just had Boo Boo uh, come out victorious for the title tonight. Absolutely. He's with the zone as well. You know, could you see yourself working with them? Continue to work with ESPN? I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm a gun for hire. You know, I mean, if it comes out to a highest uh, situation, you know, I mean, they, they are ESPN has been great. For you. you know, I really enjoy working with top ranking ESPN. Uh, I mean, I can see myself working on the ESPN circuit as well as doing the the zone. I mean, it's with the belts comes a lot of power to, to make decisions like that. So it's just uh, what comes down to make sense. Again, you know, I didn't really ever look at it. I've never been forced to really base myself with those decisions because I was so nearsighted in the fight with Murata, you know, that I didn't really think about what happens next. And now, you know, you guys are asking questions and it's hit me with shit. Like this is this is very real now. So, you know, these are the very real questions they're going to need answers. In this you know, they're not somebody that wants to sit on the shelf for very long. I want to get right back to the conversation.